Hi everyone, we're going to um, find the equation for the orbit of Earth around the Sun. And there's some words you probably are maybe, maybe not familiar with. The perihelion is the shortest distance from um, um, the Sun to the planet. And the aphelion is the longest distance from a planet, in this case the Earth, to the Sun. And the mean distance is basically this um, half point here. So they give you the longest distance from the Earth to the Sun. And they want to know, and they also give you the mean distance. And they want to know what the perihelion is, and then we have to write the equation. So basically, the mean distance is 96, uh, 93 million miles. So that means that um, A is half of that. So if I take half of 93 million miles, I get, um, oh, that means that's what A is. So A is 93 million. I'm just going to put million. The whole length would be 2 times that. All right, so that's the A, and the length of the major axis is 186 million, because, uh, so we can put 186 million, which is just basically 2A. So I just multiplied the 93 million by that, okay? So the... Perihelion is 186 million minus your um, 93 million. It's going to be the 186 minus the uh, 94.5 million. So that's going to be 94.5 million. And that's going to give you um, 91 point five million. So again, A is ninety three million. The whole length is one eighty six. Then we're gonna take the eighty six. Um we already know what A is, which is ninety four point five to get the P. So this is your P, this was your A, this was your two A. Alright? And the distance from the center of the ellipse to the sun is the focus. So that's going to be 93 million minus your P here. So minus your P. And that's going to give you um, 91.5 million. So we're just getting all the information, subtracting and everything, and this gives us 1.5 million. All right, now we have to find B. So to find B, we're going to go on the next slide. We have our A, and we're going to find B. So we know with the ellipsis, we're using A squared minus B squared equals C squared. <coughs> or you could write B squared equals A squared minus C squared. Oops. Minus C squared. So what we get is B squared equals a squared minus c squared, which is going to be 93. Uh, I'm just going to do scientific notation here. Um, this is a 6. Squared 93 million minus your c squared, which is 1.5 million. And I'll just do to the 6, because that's this is your million part. And squared. And when you calculate all that out, you're going to get um, 8, 6, 4, 6, 0.75 times 10 to the 12th. So basically, and you take the square root of both sides, you get B equals 92.99 million, or times uh, 10 to the 6th. So basically, we just took the square root of that. Okay, so you have your B. So we're going to write our equation. 
Um, it's going to be x squared over your a squared. So that's going to be 93.10 times 10 to the 6th squared plus your b, which is uh, 92.99 times 10 to the 6th equals 1. You can simplify this equation by letting our units for x and y be millions of miles. And then if you do that, so you're going to let your x and y uh, be millions of miles. Then you get x squared over 8649 plus y squared over 8646.75 equals 1. So either way, both of these are the right answer. We just simplified it. We just let x and y be millions of miles. And I did it that way. So that would be the simplification. Okay, the next problem we do is the same thing, but instead of Earth, it's going to be Mars. So basically... The next three problems are going to be very similar. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.